Infinite Info, Episode 1. Amazon Swords. For this episode of Infinite Info, I'll be talking about a Conjodorus Amazonicus, or the classic Amazon Sword. Uh, some varieties are sold as Amazon- Conjodorus Belhiri. Uh, they are very close relatives and really do not need very different care. Uh, they're obviously native to the Amazon basins and Amazon River, uh, hence the name Amazon Sword, and they will really need uh, low pH water to really thrive and reproduce, but they can be kept in harder water such as African cichlids. Uh, I bought this plant, these two plants as one whole and sl they slowly divided into two and I separated them. Uh, here's a picture of a plantlet I have put inside of a little hole in uh, in some driftwood. Uh, this is a really nice way to get up any extra nutrients from your water and not just from your substrate. Uh, looks n pretty nice. Uh, this has been done with java moss, uh, java ferns, anubias uh, for as, practically as long as uh, Anubius, those plants have been in this aquarium hobby. Uh, all you have to do, if you don't have any holes in your wood, you can drill some holes into it and plant them into that. Uh, once I get some more plantlets off of my mother swords, I'll put some more in there. And uh, they add a nice contrast to the uh, the wood, considering their darker green color. Uh, and the darker color of the wood uh, helps make the leaves look much brighter than they actually are. Uh, some nice contrasting. And they often thrive in these conditions. But they might get stuck if you let them grow too large for the, uh, for the hole that they are in. Here's another plantlet that is, or two other plantlets that have grown to uh, the surroundings and have grown longer, narrow, more narrow leaves than uh, the mother and its uh, sisters, I guess you could say, uh, from the same mother plant. Uh, they have adapted to their surroundings, as all plants will do, uh, but still look very nice behind this piece of driftwood that I'll show you in a few pictures. Here is an experiment of mine. I'm trying to grow some Amazon sword plantlets immersed. Uh, they have a lot of dead leaves right now just because they're getting used to their new surroundings. Uh, what I've done is I've taken a foam block, drilled holes into them, planted swords inside of the holes, and let it float on top of my tank. Uh, you're going to want to keep them in a humid place or water them, or spray them with a water bottle kind of somewhat often. Uh, Nice experiment for a paludarium, I suppose. Here's a picture of one of my older runners. Uh, it no longer it is healthy in producing plantlets, but all runners eventually die. Uh, as you can see, there are a whole bunch of plantlets growing off and thriving from their mother sword's uh, runner. Uh, the way you want to take them off is just slightly peel them off or twist them. Uh, I'll show you that in my next video or so. Uh, the proper way to get them off of the runner without killing your runner. Do not cut them off. That permanently kills the runner. Uh, here's, a, uh, here's a sword I planted uh, next, right in front of a piece of driftwood. Uh, as I said before, the darker color of the driftwood helps emphasize the green of your Amazon sword. So... Uh, It'll stand out a little bit more and even help it look better. Uh, but if you have a lot of plant-eating fish, uh, that will look much be like much better food uh, than the little dull sword in the other corner. Here's another plantlet. Uh, its leaves were growing irregularly and will take a little while to get... Uh, reset to the proper fashion. Uh, 
it was grown this large uh, off of the runner when I bought this plant. Uh, if you do leave your runners on for a really long time, which you probably shouldn't, but if you do, uh, they can get to the size of uh, living off of the mother plant's nutrients from the runner. Uh, I have it in this spot temporarily, and I have already moved it, as this picture is somewhat old.